guess what? The Minimalists are going on tour with a live version of The Minimalists podcast. And I want to invite you to join us for a night of less. Find your nearest city at theminimalists.com slash tour. We'll see you there. Our question is from Marie. How can I have memories and memory boxes and still be a clutter-free minimalist? I mean, so so we need to parse out these two things, right? Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we conflate memories <clears throat> with our memory boxes, quite literally, yeah. right? We have <clears throat> boxes and bins and crates and, and storage lockers and containers and bread boxes and old cookie jars and all of these things that clutter every bit of our homes. They, they're they in the attic. They're in the, the guest bedroom storage closet. They All of these places that we just store these things. Why? Because we say, well, I want to keep my memories in there. Mm. But how often do we actually access those things? Yeah. We can access the memories without accessing the things. And so my pithy answer for you is an oldie but a goodie. (laughs) Our memories are not in our things. Our memories are inside us. Yeah. I think once we realize that, that I can let go of something and still retain Mm -hmm. the memory that I have of the thing or of the experience that that I experience with the thing, it gives me permission to let go. Now, What I will say is also sometimes our things can trigger the memories inside us. So before I let go of some of my things, what I'll do is I'll take a, I'll snap a photo of it. And having that photo still gives me the trigger to the memory without having to hold on to the the, the giant sideboard cabinet or whatever. I just realized like thinking about this question, we are, we're scared of being forgotten, but like what's worse than being forgotten is forgetting our own lives. Mm. And I think that is why we, or that's why I uh, used to have the memory boxes. It was, I wanted to remember every little detail of my life that I could. Um, but yeah, when I went through those memory boxes, like during my packing party, I realized that, A, maybe these aren't memories I want to sit here and cling to. Yeah. And B, they really weren't that awesome of a memory anyway. And see, you can create new and should be creating yeah. new memories, better memories with the experiences we have. Because, Ryan, you bring up a really great point. If we're always clinging to the memories of, of, of the past, mm-hmm. we're not making room for the memories we're creating right now. Yeah. There's something pithy there, Sean, that you can <laughs> tweeze out.